everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good, well, healthy and very, very happy and you've had a wonderful, wonderful week. Let me know what you've got up to in the comments. We are still very, very busy with the house, very busy with work and then Ali's starting the autumn nation series with his work as well. So just trying to juggle and balance everything but I think I've just about got it. But as you can see for today's video, I've got a clothing bag full of coats. I'm very excited about this because you guys know how much I'm just obsessed with coats, like it's so bad because they're not the easiest thing for storage, are they? They're probably not the worst thing because they just take up so much space. I just cannot have enough coats. I'm so greedy when it comes to coats, but anyways, I just wanted to share with you ones that I've been gifted, ones that I've bought myself, and um, yeah, I think I've got about six here, so I'll show you the latest ones that have joined the collection, and I really hope you enjoy the video. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I don't know how you found me, but please stick around, press that subscribe button, and like the video if you love like it and yeah remember the notifications as well just so you don't miss any videos and I hope you guys have checked out the family vlog channel as well and watched the most recent one that went up on Friday so I hope you're enjoying those as well very quickly before we start I'm five foot for reference and usually like a four six but sometimes I like to size up in coats you know just for that oversized feel I'll let you know what sizes I'm wearing where everything's from and everything will be linked down below let's go so we are starting off with a really fluffy piece this was given to me for a collab, but I just really want to show off because it's stunning. I wish you guys could feel just how cozy and adorable it is. It's just like, it's just the coziest thing. It's the perfect cozy coat. It's not too heavy. It just feels amazing on the collar, the detailing, everything. I'll pop it on to show you, but this is from Fourth and Reckless. It's Mimi's, Mimi R. I think that's um, her on Instagram, but let me just show you. How unreal, oh my god guys. I'm gonna do it up so you can see. Oh my god, look at the collar. I just love that you can wear it undone or done up with the belt to show off your body shape more, but you still wanna have that warmth. It has really deep, oh, pockets. Oh, that's where they are. How funny, I've been missing these for about a week. I love it, this is the cozy coat everyone needs for this winter for sure. It is of course faux shearling, so vegan friendly. And the length on me is perfect. I've worn this once the flats and it was quite close to the ground. So yeah, it's more of like a heel look for me when I wear this just because of my height. But yeah guys, cozy cozy, let's go on the next one. This is actually more of like a kind of jacket kind of thing. From, it's like a shacket, you know those long shirty jackets? Um, this is from Primark and this is an extra small, which is a UK 6 slash 8. And I was actually pleasantly surprised with this. Uh, I saw it on the hanger and I was like, hmm, put it on and it was much better than like what it looked like on the hanger. Oh my god guys, my fringe today is just crazy. Look at the like front bit. Because I cut the front too short, I've like, just got bits, you know, here, there and everywhere. Anyways, onto the coat. So this is just, oh, like, this is such a vibe. And it's an extra small, yet it's got like an oversized feel to it. But I love how wide it is on the shoulders. It's just the fit. The fit is so good. So much better than I thought it looked on the hanger. Again, it's got really deep pockets. The length is amazing, as you can see. And yeah, I just thought it was such like a find at Primark. But even though it's oversized from the side, it's still quite slim, if that makes any sense. So it doesn't make me look, you know, bigger than I am. The dark grey kind of goes with everything. If I saw someone wear this, I would never think it was Primark. So this is a special find, I feel. Okay, lovely. So the next coat, another one from Primark. It's the second thing. And um, again, I'm not massively into pattern, but this was something else when I popped it on. It was much nicer on than it was on the hanger. And this is a UK 4. Like, I would never get, like, a coat where I want kind of an oversized fit in a 4. But when I tried it on, Ali and I were like, oh, I don't think, like, I need, I don't think I need, like, a bigger size. Look at the fit of this. And even though it's patterned, it's, it's quite, like, neutral. I feel it's really not like in your face. But yeah, I felt like it fit really well and I didn't need a six or a big size because the shoulder seam is quite wide. So that's kind of what I look for. I don't like a narrow shoulder seam. And it's just a little bit different to the coats that I've got. So I picked this sucker up and I love it. So we are now going on to Abercrombie and Fitch, guys. They are the last three coats. And look at this. I feel such a dupe for the designers. This is completely vegan, it's faux suede, faux shearling. So I'm really excited about finding this and it's cheaper as well. Um, vegan suede just there. 
And I got an extra, extra small because again, I was like, oh, I kind of want an oversized fit. But then when you look it up, it actually says oversized fit. So it's going to be a small, but oversized, you know? So I was just like, just get the extra, extra small. I was really going between um, extra small, even small, you know? But when this came, I was really pleasantly surprised. And again, I feel like I don't need a bigger size because you just have to look at the sleeve length. It's got the wide seam on the shoulders. And this is what it looks like done up and it's got pockets as well i just think this is so cool it's got a good color but as you can see the detailing on it like it's just so well made there's so many kind of by fast fashion brands um created you know like dupes of designers and stuff and you can just really tell in the fabric but yeah i feel the quality is really there with abercrombie fit and i've that i've ordered something from them probably since i worked for like hollister like 10 years ago, literally 10 years ago, I think I was like 17. But yeah, I feel this is really worth the money. And they do, I think they do student discount. I think they do discount because I know they've got quite a young audience. Um, so yeah, check that out. But I love this. And also, I don't know if it's just me, but because I'm small and this is cropped, and if you wear something like black or like a unitard or something, I feel like it kind of makes your legs look longer. Or is it just me? Or is it just me being hopeful? <laughs> I will go in for the puffer, and again, they had like petite and leg options, which is great for me being five foot. Um, again, I got an extra, extra small. This is wind resistant fabric, water resistant fabric, recycled filling, and vegan leather, which is just fantastic. It isn't down filling, by the way. And again, when it comes to kind of puffy coats, I'm like, should I go for something oversized? Because I want to be able to put sweats and hoodies and jumpers on underneath. But again, I got an extra, extra small in this, and it honestly fits me perfectly. Like, I can feel it, like, it just, it just fits my shoulders. When I put it on, it, like, it feels like a glove, you know? And I always check the hood, because I hate, like, a small hood. And this is, like, the perfect size, because, again, because if I get one that's too big, it will just fly off. So, just the fit of this is, like, perfect. I should have tucked my hair in, but it has all the options, you know, when it's like really windy and rainy. But I just love the finish of the faux leather. And I feel this will come in very handy for Ali's games as well. Sitting in those freezing cold seats watching his games uh, this time of year. Oh guys, it's um, fleeced pockets as well. How lush. So really, really cosy. Just everything you need in a winter coat, guys. This is an absolute win. And again, Abercrombie Fitch is not cheap, but I feel you can really feel the quality. That's why I'm recommending it to you guys. You know, I'd be honest. And I got these myself. These weren't gifted, so. Okay, let's get the next one on. And the final one, which again is from Abercrombie Fitch. And I got an extra small P, so extra small petite. Um, I don't know if they had an extra, extra small. But I could tell that this was quite fitted on the shoulders. Or so maybe I went up a size. I think maybe I also get a small, but it was sold out. I'm not too sure. It has got pockets. Guys, such a lovely grey and really nice over the all black as well. Only things I kind of wish I had a belt, but then it's not like a big oversized coat, so I might have lost, you know, like the fit if I had a belt. But what I was thinking, yeah, um, was it's not very big at the shoulders, and you guys know I love big shoulders. So what I did was I ordered some shoulder pads, and I genuinely think there's like a difference. If I just sew these in, you can really see the, the difference. It just kind of gives me a little bit more structure on the shoulders. But I need to tame my shoulder pad addiction. I do. Because it is lovely getting fitted things, getting kind of those waterfall kind of jackets. And it's nice just to mix it up. But yeah, I do think they make a difference. So I'm going to sew those in just for a little bit of something, something. But yeah, I just think it's a very elegant, gorgeous coat. And I really like this whole look. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot. And because it's petite, the length on the arms and at the bottom of the coat, it's just perfect. By the way, guys, my boots are from Primark. How good. Leggings from H&M and this top is from Zara, I think. So I don't know what to wear under coats. So I just always go all black. Leggings comfy, little bit of heel. So I feel a little bit glam. And that is our start. 
I feel like I rushed that. Was that quick? Although I feel like my fashion videos are usually so long and I never shut up, so this will be refreshing. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favourite coat is. What one do you think would be the best on me? I honestly couldn't pick a favourite because I think they're all very different. So yeah, I'm interested to know what your fave is. And all the links will be down below for you. I've only got these very, very recently. Cool, so they should still all be available. Also, if you have any suggestions, like of videos that you want to see from me, how to style this, how to style that, some outfit inspo, let me know what you want to see from me down below. And if you like the video, I'd really appreciate a like. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and join the Annie fam. Sending so much love to you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!